have been putting this video off for such a long time it's been such a long time um, since this incident happened but I was honestly thinking if I should put this on social media um, because some people could will actually know who I'm talking about and um, the person also will know if I'm talking about them but at this point I don't really care um, I have moved on in my life and I really don't care what they have to think or what they have to say but I'm just gonna say it like it was so a few years ago I started working at this place where um, where the person who was in charge of uh, our shift or whatever was really 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 fond of me and I was fond of the person and not in an, any any bad way or whatever but it was in a really respectful way uh, I really admired the person the person was great at what they did and uh, it really helped me to kind of like you know understand my job and respect my job and want to do my job it motivated me and I was very happy at the fact that that person was my immediate supervisor at that time so I was so happy I was so glad or whatever and uh, everybody's everybody knew about it everybody knew that I was really you know I was like I became that person's pet I instantaneously became became that person's pet because whatever orders I would get from that person I would like do it like that I would like just execute it immediately because I respected them so much I and I was like oh my god this person is so cool they they're so good at what they do and um so a few months later there was this girl that apparently had some sort of like you know I don't want to say it even though it's been a while I don't know she had some sort of feelings for the person I had no clue no idea what the hell it was and um so she found out that me and uh, my superior were very comfortable with each other and I respect them a lot and I was like a little kid at that time like I was you know I was only 23 years old and I was like oh my god oh my god can I do this oh, oh you know can I do this and then he would be like yeah sure and then or I would complete a task and I'll be like hey you know what I just completed this task like and then he would praise me he would acknowledge me in our uh, meetings and stuff like that and I was so happy that I was getting getting acknowledged for the things that I was doing and he was a really good you know good person or whatever but this particular girl I don't know what happened to her I don't know where the hell she came back from and she just started acting like straight crazy she became friends with me first and then she would literally stalk me like when I tell you that she would stalk me I am not exaggerating uh, we use like walkie talkies or whatever and she would hear me on the walkie talkie say I'm taking a break or whatever and then she would take a break and sometimes not even take the, take her break and call me like on my cell phone as I'm in the bathroom and um, and I'm like oh my god this person is working why is this person calling me and uh, the person would just like if I would answer she would like come up with ins insults like she would insult me like she would be like hey crazy girl like that's that 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 was her name for me she would call me hey crazy girl how are you and I was like okay and one day I was in the bathroom and she just sneaked up on me and she was like oh, what are you doing who are you talking to I was like that is so freaking weird like why would you like be so is this the, okay it's just the camera I was like what the hell so I was like oh my god what's wrong with her like why does she keep on like stalking me why does she keep on like you know calling me now she's in the bathroom and then she straight up asked me like straight up like nothing no filters nothing she was like hey is this something going on between you and that person and I was like no that person is like a brother to me um, obviously I understood that something was up with her so I kind of made her really comfortable because I knew I know how women are I know a lot of times women get insecure so I was trying to make her um, you know feel comfortable and tell her like no there's nothing like you know don't don't get crazy like there's nothing going on so this girl in addition to stalking me in addition to saying all kinds of stupid things about me um, she invited me to come over to the city once to go shopping with her and I was like okay cool I'll come with you obviously I did not know anyone over here in New York so I was like okay cool so we were on the train 
and she started telling me all kinds of things like she started telling me um, that you know people didn't like me that everybody hated me that I should leave the job I should go somewhere else and this and that and I was like that is a bit much like you know why are people talking about me and I started crying I still remember I started crying on the train and I could see the smirk on her face like she was so happy and I remember like once we went to you know the city and we went to Victoria's Secret and we were picking our stuff and she's like who are you gonna wear this for like she was so disrespectful and I was like nobody I'm just wearing this because I'm shopping like what the hell and then she started telling me about um, my best friend at that time and I that's the point when I felt like oh my gosh she's lying because I knew my best friend I knew how she was I knew she would never say things like that so I was like oh my god this girl is so crazy so I immediately told her like you know to cut it out that I don't want to hear anything even if people are talking it's okay it's not a big deal so she stopped and then one day I'm working I'm working so hard and I get a call from um, from my, you know, supervisor or whatever. I don't want to say it because I know it's going to be people are going to know who I'm talking about. Uh, but not everybody knows it. So it's not like I'm disclosing their identities or whatever. So my supervisor calls me and he tells me, come up to the office. So I go to the office and uh, I'm terrified because I'm like, it's just 11 o'clock. I'm working till like 2 o'clock in the night why is this person calling me and um, I went upstairs and the person says um, you need to tell this girl that there's nothing going on between you and I and th when he said this girl she was literally in the manager's office and she is not even supposed to be there at the time she was not on break nothing like she was just there chilling with him I got so pissed off first of all because I spoke to her one-on-one -on -one and I told her already that there was nothing going on between me and him that we were just like you know we were just an employee and the boss and secondly I also told her that he was like my brother so what the hell like why is she making this stuff up and then he was like can you take her in the lockers room and speak to her and I promise to you like I really 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 felt like I was gonna punch this lady in her face because I had like zero patience at that point and I was so like embarrassed that I was put in this situation for no fault of mine like I wasn't even supposed to be there so I was like you know what there's nothing going on between him and I please stop your nonsense and she she goes to me please promise to me that there is nothing and then when she repeated herself again that's when I completely lost it and I told her I was like y'all listen if you ask me this one more time I promise to you I will punch you in your freaking face and please do not ever talk to me again because I don't like you anymore and I'm not the type of person who's fake I'm very real if I don't like you I don't like you. if I like you I love you I'll do anything for you so I told her I was like yo just stop your nonsense I don't want to talk to you I don't want to hear you I don't want to see your face ever like just get the freaking hell out of my face and obviously I called her the B word and whatever and then that's the day when I felt like so wonderful I was like oh my god thank god like I got this lady out of like you know out of my way I don't need to answer her phone ever again I don't need to talk to her ever again I don't need to like even initiate like any conversation with her ever 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 again but what a relief and I know it's crazy but I do have like this story I mean I have a lot of stories where like I've had women stalk me but this girl was definitely like out of like out of like the world she was just straight crazy and she had no business like she's not she had her own family but she still had her she had a cake and she was eating it too whatever situation and I was like please don't stop with me anyway guys um if you like this story if you want to share your thoughts if something like this similar something similar like that has happened to you share your video share your video share your comments and uh, hit me up on uh, Instagram or Facebook or whatever you find comfortable my links are on, um, on this um, channel as well and I would love for you to interact with me and give me some ideas and tell me what I should do next to what kind of videos I should post and things like that it's I really like whether it's positive or negative I really like your comments so please don't don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel it's really 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 going to help so that's that i love you all and thank you so much for watching me Mwah.